Hello everyone, how are you all going? It's a lovely uh, Tuesday today, Tuesday afternoon. I, uh, we're just back from town, I had to go in and get my dog bites treated. They're looking pretty good. The bad ones are still all covered up. Uh, his canine teeth went in there and that's where he ripped my leg right open and the rest are healing really well on that leg. And this leg you can hardly even see where they were. I heal pretty quick which is good. Um, well after we finished going to the doctors we went into the shopping centre to do just a little bit more shopping and um, get a few supplies and I tell you what the shops it's amazing how empty the shelves are a lot of people must be panic buying we only needed a bit of toilet paper and some powdered milk um, which we got because we're always pretty well stocked up here plus we stocked the camper trailer up I don't know last week I suppose um, but due to what's happening with this coronavirus wow in Australia I mean it's um yeah you wouldn't believe how empty the shops are I'll put some links under this video I mean the World Health Organization or the WHO uh, don't have the uh, gonads to declare it a uh, global problem yet or a pandemic um, Australia's already like we've, we're like most um, well-to-do countries we've got huge stockpiles of medications and um, you know other pandemic associated stuff uh, all throughout Australia in normal looking warehouses and they've already released those uh, for use to for the health departments because watchers have got to remember oh by the way has anyone looked at a global pollution map lately China must be one of the cleanest countries in the world like right now since all of its factories are shut down um, it's absolutely brilliant the changes that have been made over there it's um, yeah anyway that'll, that'll come to an end I suppose when the, when they eventually find a cure for this if they find a cure for it um, it's a bit of a worry you know I mean not 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 so much for Ziggy and I because I mean we pretty much care for ourselves here anyway we've got our own power and we're always well stocked with food and other uh, basic necessities that we might need but medications um, are getting hard to get a hold of because a lot of the medications well, not being actually, well, there's a lot that are made in China, but a lot of the ingredients all come from China. All these big factories that are closed down and not po producing any pollution right now. So there's um, uh, beginning to be uh, shortages of some medications over here. Face masks, um, like all the, we went, like, like I said, we went to town after the doctor today and um, stuff like uh, nappies, powdered milks. Um, we, we didn't actually get any powdered milk today because there was uh, none in the aisle. The only thing that was left was skim milks and they were getting used. And I mean, we have a good stockpile here in the trailer plus some more in the inside, but yeah, it's just amazing how empty the shelves were. Um, even the freezers, like, the, the, the frozen potato chips and all that sort of stuff. Um, and what I said to, to my wife, which is what, what's, what's going to be happening over here, uh, once the different states start to isolate themselves, if they, if they don't find a, a quick cure for this, you know, um, self-imposed isolation and uh, Australia's talking about how they can do that and whether or not they'll put any um, criminal charges to it. They're already talking about banning uh, large meetings um, 
uh, like, at, like football matches and, and all that sort of stuff. Um, I'm going to put a link to that as well. I'll, I'll put as many links as I can um, where you all type. I'll just pin it to the top so you can go and see what's happening. Um, but yeah, it's 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 quite an eye opener as to as to what's going on. I mean, this this has only killed a few thousand people so far throughout the world. It's not even that bad as far as a, a flu virus goes. But the reactions from the people and the, and the governments are quite strenuous. And, and they've only got their, themselves to blame because as soon as it started, I mean, they were still letting planes and other stuff from all these infected countries land in Australia, and they still are. Um, yeah, it's quite... It's not, not how I would have done it, but anyway, it's not how many of you would have done it either at the first sign of something like this happening you know straight away there would have been travel bans in place and um, no flights in or out of these these infected countries but now Australia it's, it's you know we're looking at as they say it's inevitable inevitable uh, we're expecting if they don't find any immediate cure or relief we're expecting a Australian pandemic in Western Australia to, to come over here so far, Western Australia is pretty good because um, well, we're just, you know, too far away from everything. But the, the stores still have to get all the food trucked in from the eastern states. And, um, and while big shopping centres and that have got what's called a just-in-time stocking policy, which means they order what they order just in time they don't carry huge stocks like they used to you know 30 or 40 years ago um and you can really notice that when you go shopping really really notice that it was it was quite an eye-opener um we were able to buy toilet paper there was uh uh two two um what are they 12 packs or something um left with the brand we used and most yeah and so we grabbed both of those but most of the rest of it's all gone i don't know where toilet paper's made but yeah you'd think we'd make some of that in australia everyone's got to wipe their um backside but anyway yeah i was uh, i'm just letting you know what's going on it that was just like i mean don't panic i mean people are already panic buying for christ's sake um, you don't need to panic by, like, I mean, we've always got plenty of food on, on hand at our house, um, especially last week when we, we did a meat run and uh, restocked the freezer and all that sort of stuff. But like you can see here, we're getting, we were getting ready to go. We were, this is all packed up. Um, we hadn't packed the fridge or the freezer yet, which is under there. Um, but everything else is packed And of course the safest place to be at times like this is at home Where you've got your resources readily available to you um, um, Yeah, all we did because you know if, if, Like if, if they stop gatherings and, and transport and all that sort of stuff between the states and in towns and, and, and cities, you're going to see um, the freight companies, you know, not, not not moving the freight like all the fuel. It's probably the same in your country. It all, it all comes, well, in Australia, the, the, in the country, there is no rail network in Western Australia, uh, which is why we've got road trains over here, um, which are just trucks with, you know, two, three, four trailers, depending on where you live in Western Australia. And, and that's what carts the fuel and keeps the nation going, carts the food, um, carts everything. Um, what, I, what I had a laugh about today was some of the companies who gave up on the local market and now sell their meat and everything strictly to China can't sell it anymore and they're wondering how to make ends meet. Um, because of course the shopping centres found other suppliers and they don't want new new suppliers of the stuff they can get readily 
So all these people that uh, turn their back on the Australian market and the Australian people uh, in the hunt for the mighty buck are now suffering. And I hope they suffer a lot, by the way. I, I hope a few of them go bankrupt. Um, uh, because these are, are Australians that, that should have put Australia first all the time, but they put their their own selfishness and the need for a buck first. And I think, you know, it's karma. Uh, what goes around comes around. And, um, yeah, I, I, I'm a firm believer in, in karma. If you're a nice person, nice things happen to you. If you're an idiot, then you, nothing but bad things happen to you all the time. And Ziggy and I, we, we well, you all know us. I'd give me shirt off my back if somebody needed it more than I would. But, uh, and we got, I don't know, just, just, I don't know, nice things always happen to us. But then you got other people, well, like these, yeah, anyway. Yeah, that's karma, people. If you're good to others, then good things happen. Um, if you chase the, ma the mighty dollar and uh, tread on everybody else to get it, then when something like this happens, nobody's going to give a shit about you. Uh, I certainly won't. But... So yeah, that's what's happening over here. It's a bit of a, a ramble and a bit of a, a, a rant, but yeah, it was just a real eye-opener to go shopping today and to actually see all the empty shelves and people are buying stuff like water. I, I, I never understand why people buy water. Um, for the short term, water's all, you know, you're only buying it in litre cans and you're buying loads and loads and loads of it you know you can get a 20 litre drum people put a filter on, on your tap and just get it straight from the the water tap you got at home you know you don't need to go and buy bottles and bottles and bottles of which is just basically tap water that's been filtered um that always amazes me when i see people do that they spend thousands of dollars on 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 on, on tap water in a plastic bottle a one litre bottle um, if they buy a couple, you know, well, I mean, we've got lots of drums here uh, that we can fill up at a moment's notice, you know, with the, the two, with the carbon and the carbon silver filters I got on, uh, that I put on, and, and that gets my water crystal clear like rain, better than rainwater. It's uh, beautiful stuff. Anyway, I just think it's, it's weird that people buy the most weirdest things, you know. Um, I mean, they've still got water coming out of their taps. And in Australia, the tap water tastes pretty good in, in, in most of the towns you're in. Um, anyway, there you go. There's my rant. That's what the trailer looks like when she's packed up, by the way. It's got Ziggy's chair, my chair, the table, uh, the lights, power points, extension leads. Um, she's all packed and ready to go, except, like I say, we, uh, didn't get the fridge and freezer done. But, um, and we're not going to be getting it done. Maybe, uh, end of April, mid-April, we'll see what happens, you know, we're just going to see what happens. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. But it's good because I know there's, um... A good month's supply of food just sitting in this trailer, let alone what's in the house. So, and that stays in this trailer. Um, but because that's our camping supplies, you know, we take them with us everywhere we go. As I've sold it before, you know, we take enough water and enough food for a month, even if we're going out into the middle of the desert for a week. If you get stuck, it could take you up to a month before you get rescued, you know. So you got to make your chances pretty good. And we just fully restocked this with even more than we usually have put in it. So um, I think we did that last Friday. And the, sh the shelves, when we, when we did that, by the way, there was still plenty of stuff in the shelves. Um, but when the politicians come on and started talking about, yeah, well, you know, the pandemic's inevitable. 
Um, why the hell the who haven't declared it has got everyone stuffed right now in Australia, including the politicians. Anyway, keep safe, people. Don't go panic buying. No, you don't need to. If you've always, like, like Ziggy and I, and you've always, you know, it, it's called prepping, and it's, it's, it's not really prepping. You know, you're not prepping for a global um, nuclear disaster. You're prepping to have, you know, a few months worth of food on hand uh, when shit like this does hit the fan. And when it does hit the fan, it usually splatters all over the place. So it pays just to, um, whenever you go shopping, buy a couple of extra tins at a time, buy um, extra toilet type paper. You don't need room and rooms full of toilet paper. You need enough to last you a month, you know? Uh, because by then the government's usually got it sorted. Uh, and if they can't sort it, well, you know, yeah, you'll have to come up with another idea. All right, that's my thoughts on this uh, global pandemic that hasn't been declared yet. Keep safe, everyone. Bye for now.